Should you settle in your relationships? I wanted to talk to you today about this one because I saw a post recently on social media which suggested that we shouldn't settle, settle in our relationships. And on the post, there was another section to it which said that a relationship that isn't completely right isn't right. So this kind of like, really triggered something within me because I think we have to be really careful about what we're saying as you know coaches or if you're like putting yourself out there as, like, as an expert I think we have to be mindful about what we're saying and also who we're saying it to and also as a person receiving that information looking on social media I think that we as consumers should be careful about how literally we take advice because that advice, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about whether you should settle or not. I'm gonna talk about two ends of the spectrum and it's up to you whether you should settle. It's not up to me, it's not up to some other relationship coach, it's not up to anybody other than you. So let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about is the meaning of the word settle, settling because what does settling mean to you? So I want you to ask yourself, what does settling even mean to me? Now for a lot of people, not all people, a lot of people might think that settling is a negative thing. It's not sounding like so, so romantic, right? Does settling mean that you have to end up being in a relationship with somebody that you're really not that into? Does settling mean that you need to be in a relationship with somebody who is treating you badly, who isn't meeting you halfway, can't compromise? Or is settling just accepting that no one on the planet is perfect, that no relationship is 100% perfectly right? Is that settling? Because really it depends where you're coming from and what your definition of the word is, right? So, on one side of the scale, you might have a group of people who settle really quickly, who perhaps their definition of the word settling is just, you know, it is what it is, it's just the relationship that I'm in now, I'm just going to suck it up, I'm going to settle, and they therefore don't work on the relationship, they are in a relationship with somebody who perhaps doesn't treat them properly, their needs are not being met, like that could be like settling for one person and that could be something that makes them deeply unhappy and I would say to those people like no you shouldn't be settling in this way you shouldn't be dealing with somebody who doesn't care about your needs doesn't like put in any effort in your relationship you shouldn't be with somebody who's abusive to you or who really doesn't tick any of your boxes whatsoever like some people are settling for something that they don't need to settle for you know it's not healthy. So on the one side of the scale, we have those people who are perhaps settling for too little, and then we have people who are just literally not going to settle and almost like champion that. They, they see that as like a strength within themselves that they are not going to settle for some mediocre love. They are not going to settle for anybody who doesn't tick every single one of their boxes. They're looking for somebody fantastic. They're not looking for an okay relationship. They're looking for an absolutely fantastic relationship that just happens, that doesn't have any struggle within it. And when struggle happens, those people might start to question that entire relationship. Well, if it was the right person, why would we be arguing? If it was the right person, like he wouldn't act like that. Like my dream man doesn't do these things. Um, therefore, this is not my dream person, I'm going to move on. The people that are like that are much more likely to have relationships that don't really span longer than like that 12 month period where like it's all passionate, juicy and fabulous and exciting. And then they don't ever get into that companionate side of love, the love that keeps you together over time, that's built on working together, working through struggles, on understanding that just because a relationship isn't 100% right, that it doesn't make it wrong, right? It doesn't make it 100% wrong. Just because it's not quite there yet doesn't mean that you necessarily have to just jump ship 
to the next person carrying with you the same issue of not actually having even like a remotely like <laughs> malleable mindset about what love even is so that's problematic as is the the other side of the scale of the just settling for anybody that shows up because you feel like you've run out of time and you don't deserve better like so what do i think settling is and do i really think that you should settle well i do think people should settle but that's because i think settling is about being realistic about your expectations and your expectations about relationships and more than anything it's about the ability to compromise we have to compromise in our relationships and it's completely unrealistic to think that there's somebody out there who out there who will tick every single one of your boxes never annoy you you'll never have any confrontation whatsoever with them and that this will be a healthy relationship in fact <laughs> Studies indicate that people that have no confrontation in their marriages at all are much more likely to get divorced because one or both of the people in that relationship are not communicating what they're actually thinking. So perfect relationships, not a good thing. <laughs> perfect relationships don't actually exist. Some of us are never going to feel like a relationship is 100% right. You're never going to be 100%. Like, you know who you are. You'll have been on the earth for long enough to work out that you're a person who has doubts. Some people are just like that. And for them to take this on board as advice of like, don't settle, don't go for anything that's not completely right. They just might end up staying single, which is fine if that's what you want. But what's so wrong in things not being perfect? Like, what is wrong with it? Like, what is wrong with having a partner that's slightly shorter than you expected? Like, what is wrong with that? Like, what is wrong with being with someone who's slightly less, like, academic than your ideal on paper type person? Like, what's wrong with that? I think that everybody should work out what is and is not tolerable for them in a relationship it's really important for us to know what our deal breakers are, what it is that we really want. It's really important that we're matching with somebody who has a similar kind of value set as us and a similar out outlook on life. They want similar things as you. More importantly than anything else, I would say, is that that person is willing to compromise with you, doesn't expect you to be perfect and you're gonna be the same back, right? And together, you're going to build something magical that's not perfect. That's what settling is. It doesn't mean that you have to be unhappy. It doesn't mean that you have to be with somebody that you don't care about. It doesn't mean that you don't have any spark with that person, but it means that you're much more likely to be in a situation whereby it's realistic. You could spend your whole life looking for a perfect person and the perfect person might not exist. So that's the problem. If we get too into the idea of not settling, if we get too bogged down by that particular type of advice. It can be completely, it can do the opposite of what it's meant to do. It's meant to empower you, but it can be completely disempowering because you could be searching for your whole life for some unicorn type person that doesn't exist in the world. Total waste of time. And yet you think that you're saving time by switching from relationship to relationship quickly because as soon as you hit a hurdle, it, that's, that's a sign that this is not great, need to move on. No. If you take on that viewpoint of, if a relationship isn't quite right, then it's not right. If you take that on, this means that we won't be looking to improve things. This means that, you know, it's wrong. We've put it into this wrong box and that's that. Whereas what we should be doing is we should be asking ourselves, what can I do to improve my relationship? What can I do to strengthen the, the bond that we've already got? What are the good things in our relationship? Because we can spend all of our days looking at the negative within our relationship and forgetting to see the positive. It's so much easier for us to home in on negative qualities in another person than it is to look at the positives. It's how our brains are programmed. So when somebody who's an expert says, if your relationship is not quite right, it's not right. It's like, well, if your relationship is not quite right, it's okay to work on it. Like it's not fixed. Like it's not, it's not just like, that's it. See you later, mate. 
of course there comes a time in a relationship where you might have to part ways but before you reach that point have a think just think about it for a minute think about how bad is it how good is it what does the good outweigh the bad if the good doesn't outweigh the bad then yeah maybe that relationship isn't meant to be but are we just jumping ship too quickly John Gottman, who is the founder of the Gottman Institute, says that we should look for relationships that are good enough. This is especially true if you're somebody that's on the apps all the time swiping and just isn't getting attracted to anybody who's like generally really good at seeing the faults in people. John Gottman says that we should be looking for a relationship that's full of love, kindness, affection, and respect. It's fine to be single and it's fine to not want to settle. However, if you've been single for a very long time, it might be time to start questioning whether or not this person actually exists and whether it's the relationships that you've been in that are the problem or whether it's the people that you've been with that are the problem or whether it's how you're viewing relationships that's the problem.